We completed this water feature and we plugged it in and the homeowner's like, I wanted more water than that. What? So then, it this, we only had two 10,000 gallon an hour pumps. Yeah. Two biofalls, so then we added the other skimmer box and two more biofalls. So not one biofalls, not two biofalls, not three biofalls, four biofalls, four waterfalls, all spilling into one, spilling into three. <laughs> oh my gosh, three beagles? Are you guys hunters? The stack slate urns, which I'm assuming might have been the latest iteration yeah. for them. And what was the idea there? Just they wanted something more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Another beautiful house, and you guys were telling me that they've done multiple water features? Yeah, three oh, here three now. Okay, I like these customers already. I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, and it's all about showcasing how people in South, South Dakota, Dakota, my first ever visit to South Dakota, live the aquascape lifestyle, and they're obviously cool people. They got wave runners and a beautiful house, beautiful cottonwood trees out here, and they've got three separate water features, including a pond? Yes, two oh. ponds, actually. Oh. One, one medium-sized pond, one small pond, and then three stacked slate urns. And we're out with Marty, the top lieutenant, and Doyle, the boss that's pulled his hair out over the years with Marty. <laughs> Holy cow, guys. Wow. So this has got to be newer, the stack slate urns. Yeah, that was two years ago. Yeah. See, water loving people are addicted to water. Wow, what a nice setting back here in the woods. Wow, look at this. It never gets old, guys. I tell you, you discover these water features at the same time I do. Let me ask you, what came first, the chicken or the egg? This small one was first. The Wait, this this small one <laughs> with a yeah. giant waterfall is this small one. This wall used to go all the way across here. Okay. And then there was a small water feature way back there that okay. was originally installed. Brought it up closer that with this big one? First. Uh huh. Then we put this one in in this area. Then there wow. Was, hey, we want to upgrade that one and be able to get to it. So then the bridge and section of the wall out. They are addicted to water, man. That's they some are. big flow over that biofalls right there. Nine PLs and going on this. Yep. What I really love is this kind of sunroom that they have, and this thing tucked right up next to the sunroom, right outside this walkway. So you got a biofalls, a little decorative, you know, fountain, waterfalls twisting and turning, really cool waterfalls, unique bridge coming out here that every single person that comes back here is going to be drawn because as they walk past this water feature, they go to this one. <laughs> Look at that, almost a geyser in the middle of this pond. This is a very impromptu and interruption to your video. Brian Helfrich and myself are excited to announce the Aquascape Hands-On Academy. And this is the hands-on area right here. This was originally created for the Sandbox Studio for the Aquascape Artists of the Year, but it's gonna be turned into a training academy for all people that wanna be contractors to come and learn with our crew. You're gonna see Chris, our crew, and how they build a one-day pond, and we're gonna show you how to do it in four hours. We're gonna have bleachers over here. People are gonna be able to get inside, get their hands dirty. And besides the 11 by 
by 16 or 8 by 11, whatever yep. we decide to do for the one day pond, we're also gonna put in fountainscapes and a pondless waterfall. Come to the Aquascape Hands-On Training Academy this winter and work with us in a sandbox, actually getting your hands dirty and learning how to have a career with water features. Don't you wanna tell them about the other day? It's two days! The classroom day! <laughs> one day is gonna be hands-on in the sandbox, the other day is gonna be how to actually run a water feature business. Everything you need to know, 30 years of experience, 26 years at the helm, building water features, designing water features, selling water features, marketing water features, promoting water features, everything to do with running a water feature business. Oh, you said a lot in a short amount of time. We're gonna have yeah. a lot in two days. <laughs> Register, check out the link below. And now, back to the vlog. Man, they've got all the bells and whistles. So this is an older Grande skimmer, I could see that they have here, but nice sheet falls right there with that waterfall. You can see that. And when it falls and it hits rocks, it's gonna get even louder of a sound. So these people obviously enjoyed the sound because it is like Niagara Falls in their backyard. Love that waterfalls up there with the morning sun hitting it. And then another little tributary coming out from below it uh, right there, I can see. Wow, so one, two, three falls all emanating from the top up there. Just beautiful. And then an addition of behind the geyser that they have in their pond with that fountain, the stack slater, which I'm assuming might have been the latest iteration yeah. for them. And what was the idea there? Just they wanted something more. <laughs> yeah, this nice. wasn't enough, huh? She actually saw a picture of the set I had at my house. She's like, I want that. So not one biofalls, not two biofalls, not three biofalls, four biofalls, four waterfalls, all spilling into one, spilling into three. <laughs> Feature, and we plugged it in and the homeowner's like, I wanted more water than that. What? So then, it just, we only had two 10,000 gallon hour pumps. Yeah. Two biofalls, so then we added the other skimmer box and two more biofalls. So we added that so we'd get more volume. She said, I want it to be like a national park. I want well, more. you know what? You gave the customer yeah. what they asked for. So what would a project like that to replicate in somebody's yard today? Probably. $80,000, and I'm totally guessing Yeah. <laughs> right now. But I mean, between all the material, you mean you probably have 100,000 pounds of rock alone in here. Yeah. The fountainscape alone was 9,500, I think, mm -hmm. somewhere close to 10,000. When you get the three stack urns like this, you have to put in the aqua box because it's too big for a basin. Yeah. Well, all that matters is, is she happy if she got a national park? Very happy. <laughs> so unfortunately, the homeowners couldn't be here. It would be fun to have interviewed them because, uh, you know, hey, I think it's incredible that they wanted the national park in their backyard. I mean, this is extreme. Whether you're living the extreme aquascape lifestyle or just a fountainscape or a small pondless waterfall, the goal of my channel is to inspire people to live the aquascape lifestyle. Hello! Greg Woodstock, Janet Martin. Hi, Janet, the pond guy. Nice to meet you, Janet. So you have a pond? We do have a pond. For how long? We put it in 2011. Is that something? Okay. So about 10 year old water feature. What a nice yard. Can we see it? Sure can. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Oh my gosh. Three beagles. Are you guys hunters? Look at the size of this hibiscus, wow. That thing's gone crazy. I love the design around the fire pit area. <laughs> so have you enjoyed living the aquascape lifestyle? Oh, we have. So how would you describe to people that don't live the aquascape lifestyle, the aquascape lifestyle? Just a relaxing feature to have and enjoy 
spending time out here and I love plants and flowers. And yes, I can see you're a gardener. So. And the fish, right? Yep. So this is kind of just draws you back here. You got an interesting pergola gazebo out here. You can yep. kind of sit in there in the off season and look back and this is what you look at, huh? Yep. So you've had it for 10 years. People always are asking like, what amount of work is it? Like, you know, you're a gardener and everything else. So how would you compare the pond to gardening? You know, in the spring, it's a lot of work to clean up. In the fall, it's a lot of work to clean up again. So starting up, do you do the spring cleaner or do you hire the experts? We've hired the experts a few times and we've done it ourselves. Nice. Seven or eight years. So starting it up, draining, replacing the water after it's been shut down for the winter. And then in the fall, the leaves. Yep. And then what about during the season? During the season, it's minimal maintenance. Nice. A spring startup, a fall shutdown, and minimal maintenance in the season. Yep, other than plants, I mean the flowers take watering and fertilizing and whatnot. But that's the landscaping. Correct. Which most people are used to, but they're not used to is something like this. Right. And that's why I love to kind of showcase people that are actually owning the water features, what kind of work it is. Marty, did you build this 10 years ago? I was part of it. Uh -huh. We had another crew that, that built it pretty much on their own. So how would you describe this project then? What did you build? What did you design? It was a fun project because none of this was here. We did all this at the same time. All the hardscaping. Yes, and all the hardscaping. Yes. Janet, how long have you lived here? One, two, one year. Okay. So this was a, 10 years ago. This was a big change. Yep. So we had the evergreen trees in initially uh -huh. a hill kind of with the idea that one day we would do this and you were already thinking about putting a waterfalls in because you had a slope Yep. love that big boulder there kind of offset stuff and then the plants talk about highlighting an area nothing highlights more than water I... eat it yeah. okay blur that brand we won't want to do it and it's definitely not our brand No, not ours. You've got an Aquascape ecosystem pond, get Aquascape ecosystem food. We will be happy to send you some Aquascape fish food. Sounds good. All right. So you like the fish. It's kind of therapy to be out here, right? Yep. Kids like them. One day, hopefully my grandkids will enjoy them.